Welcome to African Insights. Let's explore the truth about Africa. African Insights, please kindly subscribe and like the channel. In black and white, we will narrate the true African story. Several ancient African cultures birthed discoveries in astronomy. Many of these are foundations on which we still rely, and some were so advanced that their mode of discovery still cannot be understood. A wealth of evidence of astronomy has been found at the Great Rings of Zimbabwe, Timbuktu in West Africa, and basically there was star law in the ancient Egyptians, Ethiopians, the Akan, San, Zulus, Horses, Venda, Botswana, and other Africans to name but a few. The current education system should therefore equally promote and embrace both Western and African belief about the stars, moon, sun, and other terrestrial bodies. No belief or knowledge is superior or should be allowed to dominate another in the current global knowledge economy. Western colonialism and education did not only impose foreign political administrations on African indigenous communities, but also the Western belief in the sun, moon, and other celestial bodies. This has, to a certain extent, had negative implications on the development and promotion of African indigenous belief systems and knowledge about the moon, sun, and the stars. There is a culture plagiarizing habit of Greeks, Romans, Arabs, and modern racist scholars that astrology originated in Greek. Even the biased International Astronomical Union, AIU, has approved names originating only from Arabic, Greek, or Latin. The term astrology was coined by the Greeks as the study of stars, where astronomy is the law of the stars. Napta Player is the world's first astronomical site to be well documented, not forgetting Inzalo Yelanga here in South Africa, the stone ages of Mapungu. But these are less documented, and as a result, the shift is towards African astronomy that has immensely been recorded in Egypt. Ancient societies all around the world erected massive stone circles like celestial clocks aligning them with the sun and stars to mark solstices. These early calendars foretold the coming of the seasons, helping civilizations track when to plant and harvest crops. They were also connected with religion and served as special ceremonial sites. Ancient Egypt, or Kemet, meaning black land, is the world's oldest and most influential civilization on record. Egyptians charted the movement of the sun and constellations and the cycles of the moon. They divided the year into 12 parts and developed a year-long calendar system containing 365 days. Historians of the world have proof that Egypt was the first to tell time. The oldest known sundial, also known as the sun clock or shadow clock, was found in Egypt and it's believed to have been used 3,500 years ago. The most ancient clock known to men is the clock by which the earth and the sun operate daily. Personally, I would rather invest in knowing about Egyptian astrology, especially to such facts that they were the world's first timekeepers. When Danon first discovered the Temple of Hathor at Dendera in January 1799, he found a large circular planisphere, a zodiac, on the chapel's roof. The Dendera zodiac is one of the best preserved ancient depictions of the observable stars. It contains many of the zodiac symbols as they are known today. 
When the existence of the zodiac was made known to scholars back in France, there were many attempts to calculate the date of construction, with some scholars suggesting the zodiac might be as much as 14,000 years old, far older than the world itself, according to the biblical chronology. In 1822, an antiquity thief named Claude Lorraine used explosive to remove the zodiac from its matrix in Dendera, and it brought it back to France, where it was purchased by the king for the considerable price of 150,000 francs and put on public display. It was eventually deposited in the Louvre, where it might be seen today. The zodiac symbols we are most familiar with are on the inner circle, which the Greeks have built upon as they usurped it. 2,000 miles away from Egypt is the Dogon tribe, occupying Mali and Burkina Faso. They knew long before Western scientists that the planets in Earth's solar system, including the Earth, orbit the Sun. When Western anthropologists first began to study Dogon culture, they were baffled at the group's advanced knowledge of the universe. They were specifically astonished at their intricate understanding of the Sirius planetary system. Western scientists discovered the Sirius system in 1862. The star system is 8.6 light years away from Earth. In 2005, astronomers were finally able to precisely mark the Sirius B star using the Hubble Space Telescope. Historians and scientists struggle to explain the Dogen's understanding of that specific star system. CG Tolo is the name that Dogen gives the, the distant star Sirius, also referred to as Sirius A. Po Tolo is the name given to its smaller companion star, Sirius B. Keeping and tracking cosmological and astronomical knowledge is part of every aspect of the Dogen's communal lives. The Dogen often record their history in wood carvings, such as this door. This door deals with the Dogen cosmology and the Dogen migration that took place during the 12th to 15th centuries from ancestral lands. Looking at the symbols on the Dogen door, you will find that they are similar to the zodiac bowels of Great Zimbabwe. We use these outer planets to look inside of ourselves. We are using astrology as the language to help connect us to our spirituality, to our diet, to our health, and to our history. Thank you for watching African Insights. Do kindly like and subscribe.